Hey guys, it's me Anne, and this is Beauty With Me. Raise your hand if you've ever gotten a manicure. I have. I've gotten many, many, many over the years. Everything from solid coats of color to more minimal, cool nail art designs. There is a community of people here in New York that are getting very intense, extra glitzy 3D nail art with everything from gemstones to fabric to fur. I have been seeing 3D nail art absolutely everywhere, from the runway at Fashion Week to Instagram to on the streets in New York. I've actually gotten 3D nail art before, and even though I really loved them, I still wondered why anyone would put themselves through three plus hours of nail prep just to be inconvenienced by claws. Well, I decided to give it a go again, this time through my friend Gia Kwan. She's an art and fashion publicist here in New York, and she's been getting this type of nail art for over a year. I met up with Gia to get my nails done by her go-to artist, Mei Kawajiri. She is an amazing, amazing nail artist. She has over 100,000 followers on Instagram, and she does nails for the biggest and best fashion houses from Tom Ford to Balenciaga to Philip Klein. Once we got to May's apartment, I decided to sit back while May and Gia worked on Gia's nails for this month. The nails, which often take anywhere from two to three hours to create, cost around $200 to $300 to do. Gia went for a two-toned manicure complete with real fabric on her nails and two giant plastic bows on her ring fingers. Is it heavy? Not really. I mean, it, it is, but it's not it's nothing not I can. I mean, I've had heavier. Yeah, so. all the time. <laughs> Between this one and my Barbie nails, I'll mm -hmm. see how I get by with like mm -hmm. doing everyday Time. things. And then it was my turn. Not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous about getting nails that long. But I figured if I'm gonna get the nails, I should go big or go home. So I decided to let May's imagination run wild and I told her I just wanted two things. Purple nails and a little dangly thing like the ones that she had on her own nails. She went to work first by attaching plastic extensions to all of my fingers, cutting them, and then filing and buffing them to get them smooth. Then she applied acrylic gel to create the shape, used a machine that like buzzed and whirred to smooth out the base before going in with a mixture of purple glitter and gel top coat. Then came the fun part. May brought out the same machine that she used to buff my nails, but put in a thinner, more narrow bit to create a hole in my right pinky nail, and then attached my pretty little pink rhinestone heart that reminds me of Sailor Moon. But we weren't done there. We decided to make these nails even more extra by adding Swarovski crystals to every single nail. I love them, they look so good. They match my hair. All right, so we have all nailed up. Uh, mine looks simple. Simple. <laughs> this is simple? This yeah. is simple. So I wanna know how you guys became friends. Yeah, I've admired Maze and Scrim for a long time and we kind of follow each other. We yeah. just always, DM'd each other. We like like similar style. We yeah. think it's a similar style is very cute. Usually, you know, people give it to me idea like, okay, Sarah Moon. And then I just paint Sarah Moon's face. But with Gia, it's different. Like, oh, Sarah Moon. But it's not like exactly it's inspired. The, inspired. It's like 15 years ago, 17 years ago, this big giant stone was very popular in Tokyo. When I moved to New York, it's a little different style. Finally, you know, fashion uh, picked those nail culture. You know, before fashion show is just uh, one regular color and very clean and short. That first brand I did was uh, um, Balenciaga. The stylist asked me to come to the Paris because they wanted to do long nail and crystal. Some people will look at these nails and we've done a couple stories on refinery29.com about 3D nails and the comments are always kind of a mixed bag between like these are so cool and like why would anyone get them, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. What would you say to those people that are like hating on these nails? I love them because I've always liked to accessorize, doing everyday mundane things but with a little bit of color mm -hmm. and like 
wittiness to it, it makes it more fun. Everyone's gonna talk to you. Let me see your hand and then uh, where do you live? This is like a conversation. It is. Know? It's a conversation Big starter. Yeah. yeah, it really exactly. is. So I've been living with these nails for a few days now and I do feel differently now than how I felt two years ago when I got them. I think that talking to May and Gia after we got our nails done really opened my eyes to how getting your nails done in this way can be a really expressive moment that allows you to actually have little pieces of artwork on your fingers. Doing things with them though are definitely not that easy. They did tell me that I'd have to kind of adapt to having the nails and I kind of feel like 50-50 split. Some things are really fun to do with the nails, like typing on my phone because it makes a cool little clacking sound. Petting my cat. May told me that cats love these nails and I do think she does. My cat Boo Boo really likes to play with this little dangle. It's like a built-in toy. It's also really fun to just like hold things like cups. I feel like it has, it just makes every gesture I do so fun. I find myself like in public using my hands more just to see if people will like talk to me about my nails. Uh, but some things are really difficult to do with the nails, like opening pretty much anything, cans, forget about it, turning pages of books, hard. Wiping your ass, difficult, but not impossible washing your hair, it's a little bit of a strenuous experience. Eating things with your hands. Yesterday I had a sandwich and I fork and knifed it because I was like, I just don't wanna have to hold this and then get grease in my nails. I was just like, no. I know that these nails are not for everybody. They're probably like a love it or hate it kind of thing. But I think that speaking with Gia and May made me realize that something as trivial or seemingly materialistic as getting your nails done and bedazzled can be a really great way to form friendships, or an amazing way to express yourself. I've only had them for a couple days, like I said, but I've already talked to so many people, like random people on the street that will come up to me and talk to me about my nails. But I'm starting to see why photos of these nails go viral, why people love to watch videos about them, why fashion designers are so drawn to them and want to put them on their runway. They're such an interesting way to not only express yourself creatively, but connect with a community. So that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you would ever get these nails, but I will see you guys next week. Bye. Thanks so much for watching guys. Let me know what you would like to see next on Beauty With Me in the comments down below and click here to subscribe to Refinery29. Click here to watch another video and follow me on Instagram at neant.chan for more beauty stuff. Bye.